First, uh, we want to introduce a theorem, which is called Fourier slice theorem. But uh, before uh, I introduce the Fourier slice theorem, uh, I want to introduce some backgrounds first. Okay. Uh, by the way, I think I skipped most important thing. Okay, the objective today is Okay, we have this P theta R, this is the measurement. Our goal is we want to reconstruct this FXY from this measurement. That's our goal. Okay. So uh, before I introduce the Fourier slice theorem, uh, first, I want to introduce our coordinate rotation. And then first, uh, I think most of people are familiar with this uh, matrix. Okay, now we are on the page 10. I think Professor Boma finished up page nine last week, so. Okay, so this is the uh, counterclockwise rotation matrix. And then we define the new coordinate system, RZ like this. And what does this mean? So geometric interpretation is like this. So let's say we are looking at RZ coordinate. Let's say let's pick uh, RZ equal one zero. Okay, so we are looking at this point. This is one. And then let's calculate this x, y. Then just we substitute this matrix here. Then what we can get is uh, okay. cosine theta and sine theta. Okay, so what we get is uh, just uh, we change the coordinate. So this point now we can measure on xy coordinate. So this is cosine theta and sine theta. And the inverse transformation is just opposite. Uh, this trans uh, transformation is just rotating transformation. So inverse is just we rotate the opposite direction. So basically we just plug in minus theta to this matrix. If we plug in minus theta in this matrix then we can easily get the inverse transformation. So that's a coordinate rotation.